The recent report released by World Health Organization and the International Labour Organization, which puts 745,000 death rate in 2016 as a result of stroke and heart disease, has elicited re reactions from human resources practitioners. WHO and ILO say these casualties are reportedly to have worked an average of 55 hours weekly as against the 40 hours recommended by ILO. Ngozika Ohechisi has more in this re next report. World Health Organization, in a statement from its headquarters in Geneva on Monday, said that the figure was the first global analysis of loss of lives and health associated with working long hours. According to reports, working long hours is killing hundreds of thousands of people a year and could be getting worse due to the economic slowdown. The World Health Organization won by calling for employers and governments to cap working hours in order to safeguard employees' health. Some HR experts share their thoughts and how it causes serious health hazards to workers. As much as um, employ employers, they want to achieve um, maximum productivity and they also, they, they don't want to also lose um, quite a number of their work aside. So with this now, and this is actually telling on the health and it's telling on the, the, the employees themselves. Because having to work a, a having to work eighty hours for a week, having to because labor law mandated that averagely in Nigeria, Nigeria labor law stays eighty hours. I mean forty hours, pardon me, forty hours per week. So because of employee wanting to achieve a whole lot, they tend to use their employers more than the numbers of working hours, and this is really really causing a lot of hazard in the health of. Um, employees. So my own recommendation for handling this issue of you know, long hours work for employees is we should embrace gladly, we should embrace the issue of work flexibility, working remotely, working from anywhere the employees choose, in as much as we provide some IT based tools that will make you to check, make and know, see what they are doing on a daily basis. Some workers in Lagos also express how this has affected their mental health. Definitely, it affected me today, my mental health, because I actually was dozing. I wasn't thinking properly, you know. I was about having a headache because I don't think I had enough sleep. So it really affected me. Stressful, I must confess. It affected the mental health because imbalance, sometimes when you look at it, some of us will fall sick. In the morning, you will be so tired. Stressful, really stressful. And I always can't wait to get the weekend so I can rest and regain my sanity and ease off a bit. The World Health Organization says that hours should be capped for workers' safety as long working hours appear to be the most significant occupational disease burden, accounting for a third of work-related disease. For Plus TV Africa... Gazika or Haichesi. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.